Hi everybody, just a really quick video today about how you can disable the multi-account login delay timer for consoles. So with update DAISY 1.21, uh, Bohemia Interactive added a server login delay which occurs while switching between multiple accounts on consoles with the idea that it prevents people having lots of uh, characters say in the same location in a base so they can hoard loot and or if that base is getting attacked they can then spawn in lots of characters as they die um, so this is something you can't do on pc well you can do but you'd have to buy lots of copies of um, DayZ. whereas on console you can have lots of different accounts on the same console with only one copy of DayZ. however the problem with that is if you are then say an admin on a server where you have multiple accounts logged into the same map so you can get to different places quickly this means that you can't do that anymore so all you need to do is go to your Nitrado game server. So go to the web interface, go to the general settings, and then scroll down to the bottom. <laughs> it's not exactly neat, but it's this section here. Daisy standalone settings disable multi-account mitigation. So all you do is you would kick, kick that, you would tick that, save that, restart your server, and from that, that point on, you'll be able to have exactly how we did it before so people can just log into a different account on their xbox or on their playstation and log back in without having to wait an awful lot of time now if you're saying then well sh should you do this if you're thinking about doing this i would suggest only do this if this is something as a server owner um, you are going to take advantage of so in other words, as I say, the problem we have on consoles is that we can't teleport around the map like you can on PC if you're the admin of the server. So if you need to go and look at things, you've got to physically jump in a vehicle in-game and drive there. So it can be really cool to have multiple different accounts logged in at different um, positions around the map, maybe for traders and all this sort of stuff. So you can just log in, log out, and go to different locations. So if you use that, then of course do it. If it's a specific feature that you offer on your server as well to your server um, players then again you know and you say to people you can have multi multiple accounts not a problemo um, then you could do that as well however do bear in mind obviously if you've got an open public community server where you're going to have um, basically unmodded unmoderated players coming in to play I think this is something that you probably will want to have activated because it does solve that problem of people going onto a server making a base and then in that base having multiple characters on multiple accounts even if it's simply just to stop them hoarding loot because obviously if you, when you log off with your character and they've got a backpack full of gear and maybe they're carrying a backpack full of gear that stuff that they've got now is completely inaccessible nobody can steal it off them and when they need it again they can just spawn in that character drop that stuff log out of that character, log in with their other character, with their other account, and then, then walk off. So this is a very useful piece of um, uh, code that we have added to consoles. And obviously this is going to be activated on public servers. You know, It's only on community servers we'll be able to turn this off. Um, but I think a lot of people are now going to be very happy with the fact that we can turn it off. So well done, Bohemia Interactive. Well done, Nitrado. Well done to the DayZ devs for reacting so quickly and getting this out there because I know a lot of people are going to be very happy. Anyway, what do you think? If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.